Hey, what's up, Yorkshire fam? It's me, the Yorkshire Man React, and I'm back again with the Gimme 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 Reaction Series. It's time for us to start Series 3. I found a place to watch Series 3. Uh, thank you to the wonderful website, Yes Movies. I use it all the time to watch free films and television shows uh, from all sorts of eras. I mean, there's all sorts. There's everything. So, all these different countries, you know, new movies, uh, new... TV shit is brilliant. When you're running late, so yeah, if you've you got an Xbox or a PC, you can Just definitely use Samsung it. Galaxy Z Flip anyway, series three. Mode. This is you the series that a few people have been telling me is the best you got series of the them all. Samsung now, for me, you know where I stand. Better series two together. is the best for me at the moment. It was just fantastic. But we're going to see. So, this is Gimme 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 Series 3, Episode 1. Down and out. Let's go. Well, who'd have thought it, Linda? But after all these years, that... we've met again. The hardest screw in ball still, wasn't I, Linda? <laughs> She's a screw from the boss. Oh, my, the screws are worse than the cons in any prison or bossel. That's just fact. But that's core across from EastEnders, isn't it? It is. It must be. No one else looks like that. <laughs> There's no need to look so scared. <laughs> Not now you've been so nice to me and allowed me to live in your back garden. my young man. And so many. Really? We always thought you were a dirty old dyke. <laughs> Never confuse being the hardest bitch in B block with being a dirty old dyke, as your kneecaps. Oh, they're great, thank you. They've healed up lovely. <laughs> Could I bring my young man round for a spot of supper tonight, Linda? Well, how long were you thinking of staying? <clears throat> Why? You've got a problem with that? <gasps> no, no, it's just that I'll have to have a word with my flatmate. He won't mind, will he, Linda? Well, will he, Linda? Still no oil painting, are you, Dylan? <laughs> you offend me. Oh, my God. What the fuck is <laughs> Wipe that up. I'm just hearing what are those? What are those? <laughs> Wipe that out. <laughs> Buy some trainers. <laughs> she got some in her eye again. <laughs> morning, morning. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. <laughs> I was in a cutting-edge Channel 4 late-night soap called Benders. <laughs> and I was in it, and Sir Simon Shepherd was in it. And it was really sort of in-your-face queer, you know, with a capital Q. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. Eve. <laughs> I'm going to write it all down. Eve. Because if the work won't come to me, God damn it, then I'll create the work myself. The muse has entered me and is throbbing for release. <laughs> Linda, pass me my pen tell and click out my nib. I feel like squirting some serious ink. <laughs> I wrote a book once. Oh, yeah. Keen teens. Actually, it was more of a photo shoot. Actually, it was more of a porn story. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I didn't write it, I was in it. <laughs> it's in my special pink box somewhere. Actually, do you know what? <laughs> Pen and paper is so last century, I think I'll just yank out my dictaphone. <laughs> ah. ben just yank out my dictaphone. Enders <laughs> by Thomas Thessalonius Farrell. Oh. Daddy spilt some egg mayonnaise on the snap of me bending over. Well, at least he said it was egg mayonnaise. 
I think it smells more like coronation chicken. <laughs> Is that what it sounds like? Let's just move on, shall we? A 444-part comedy drama vehicle for Simon part. Shepherd and Thomas Thessalonius Farrell. No, Tom, don't go near the window! Why, why, why not? Because... <laughs> because... Did you know, Tom, that 175% of all drive-by shootings happen near French windows? 175% of... <laughs> so all of them, basically. <laughs> Twiggy preservers. One is no longer safe in one's own home. God, it's like living in that really scary movie, isn't it? That really violent film. What was it called? Chocolate Orange. <laughs> oh, look, Mummy's teeth. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Tea? No, I think it's gravy. <laughs> it's curry? Daddy. <laughs> oh, look, Mummy's Dutch cap. <laughs> Uncle Tyrone used to make me wear that for my extra special treat. What does that mean? We've had Daddy spilling egg mayonnaise on a bending over, and now we've got a special treat, extra special treat from an uncle. Yeah, the Hughes family history is starting to get a bit weird. <laughs> Maybe the baddie in Benders could be shot at the French windows. It would make a real statement about the futility and utter lack of serendipity in Blaise Britain. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I dedicate this script to Julia McKenzie and the entire cast of Fresh Fields. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be selling pop socks in dulces. <laughs> Thanks for the inspiration, guys. You know, if I pull this off and Sir Simon Shepherd is cast alongside me... You'll pull him off. Fingers <laughs> crossed. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, a chum of mine from drama school... Well, he tried to poison me a couple of times, so perhaps chum's the wrong word. But he said that he'd slept with Sir Simon. What do you say to that? I'd say he had an overacted imagination. Mummy had one of them. Oh, no, she never. It was an underactive thyroid. <laughs> Here it is! Scene one. Why does she have so many of her mother's body parts in a box? That's two now, a fucking teeth and a thyroid! <laughs> Tom stands naked, but for a dicky bow and a pair of galoshes. <laughs> whilst being approached from behind by the marvellous Simon Shepherd. Tom, what's that lovely perfume you're wearing, Simon? <laughs> Simon, you, Tom, you. Oh, here it is. I knew it was here somewhere. <laughs> oh, I was so peachy. Simon slowly unbuttons the buttons on Tom's Burberry bell bottoms and. Oh, look at me licking me backs and slapping me doughy buns. <laughs> Simon slowly. <laughs> I'm licking me, licking me bats and slapping me dowie buns. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> He glides his hands over Tom's pert, Morello cherry esque nipples. <laughs> As Tom winces in. Is that pain? No, dear reader, it is ecstasy. <laughs> oh, and in this one, I'm opening my oven and showing me runny flames. For <laughs> goodness sake! In a side of bakery! <laughs> Give that to me! Naughty Saturday girl Linda's enough to make any man's dough rise, but not mine! <laughs> Oi! Oi, what do you think you're doing? You, you can't just walk in here and pillage us of our supplies of H2 bloody O! No, Tom, don't go to the window, please don't go to the window, Tom, don't go to the window! What have you done? 
You foolish, foolish child! I've opened our back garden up as a campsite. <laughs> You know, sometimes, Lindy, I think you're a few crumbs short of the full biscuit. <laughs> That's a good one. I usually say a few sandwiches short of a picnic, or jam tart short of a picnic, but yeah, a few crumbs short of the full biscuit is very good. <laughs> away! Get away from here! Shoo you, you gypsy type person! Shoo, get away! You all smell of poo poo bottoms! No, no, Tom! No, no, please don't, Tom! What? Honestly, Tom, one of them's an screw from me ball school, Tom! She broke me knee caps once, Tom! What? She's not a very nice person, what? Tom! What? Oh, 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 hello. Hi, um, help yourself to anything you should need. There's a lovely cushion there or something. And you give her the couch, give her the couch, take the couch. Here. Shirley Twitch, fingers to her friends. Who? Oh, why is that? Shirley Twitch, fingers to her friends. Oh, why is that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> this is my flatmate, Tom. I was just telling Tom what a lovely screw you were. I never laid a finger on any of my girls. Not with that knuckle duster. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tell me, Miss, Miss Fingers, uh, <laughs> Miss are fingers? you still a screw? No, oh, Tom. These days, I guess you could say I'm a philanthropist. Oh, my God, I used to collect stamps, too. How many do you have? <laughs> Taking a piss. No, no. You scared of me, Tom? No. No, you remind me of a sort of very big, fluffy, cuddly bear called Nancy, Miss Twitch. <laughs> See you at eight. Yeah. OK, bye-bye. Go easy down them stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Giving him a bit of banana. We always share it. No, we buy What's happening at eight? Huh? What's happening at eight? Hey? What's happening at eight? Oh, right, Tom, calm down. Oh, no, fella, we're coming over for a bit of dinner. Over my dead body, there. I know how to get rid of these unwanted visitors. But that's what you said about your little problem, mate, but you're still scratching away, ain't you? <laughs> Hello, is that the council? Grubs. Well, yes, I suppose it must be. You sound frightfully vulgar. Now, listen. <laughs> I have four words to say to you. Vagrants, lawn, get rid. <laughs> no, of course I don't. I have four words to say to you. Vagrants, lawn, get rid. <laughs> I hate travellers. First record I ever bought was Caravan by Barbara Dixon. <laughs> I am not a fascist. I've still got a coal not doll sticker on my ballet bag. That was practically the blueprint for Billy Elliot. Uh, oh, I know, wasn't it? Oh, I know, I know, I love that film. Oh, oh God, which was your favourite bit? When he kissed the boy. I know mine too. Oh. Oh. Didn't your heart just... I can do the dance. Listen to me, I can do the dance. Listen. I didn't know Tom was epileptic, Linda. <laughs> Shall I phone for Dr Quinley? No, he's doing that film, the one with the little boy. The Sixth Sense. I see dead people. <laughs> no! I didn't know Tom was epileptic, Linda! <laughs> that one set up north for Iceland, you know, where they I talk thought... weird. <laughs> she was in it, Julie Watson. Andrews! Bloody hell, was that her? She's gone right common! <laughs> I'm looking at. Julie Waters! Out the campsite, catch some rays. <laughs> yes, well, now listen to me. It's my back gun. I love Julie Waters. Fucking incredible that film. Arden becomes a Butlin style holiday camp. I am holding you personally responsible. Before you can say Ruth Maddock, there'll be knobbly knees contests, oh, donkey derbies on Gaiety Green, a man called Freddy standing in the toilets with his pecker out. 
Or was that just my experience of butlins? <laughs> hello? Hello? <gasps> Big fat hairy bollocks. <laughs> So all you do is just pour some warm water, and then just leave it stand for a couple of minutes, and then in the meantime, you know, may as well have a cigarette and finger. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to bother you, Nigella, <laughs> but I'm going out. All right. No, Tom, you can't leave me on my own with her. I am going to spot you like to continue toying with my benders. <laughs> Auntie Wei Wei wrote her suicide note in a spud you like on the steamy windows with her tongue. Oh. Freak. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way she says freak. Freak. <laughs> Toying with my benders. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think you want to do that in a spud you like, Tom. <laughs> We're off to sunny Spain. Viva España! Oh, Linda, we're so excited about staying at your campsite. I moist feel. <laughs> I'm like a dripping sponge. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're treating staying in your own back garden as a holiday. Well, we fancy the Algarve, but as Suze is with child, flying is out of the question. Oh. I'll say. Thought she looked a bit bigger. I feel like a bump under a jumper. I went on the chair. Is that going to come into play later? Please tell me it does. Imagine an episode where she gets, where she has a baby. Oh, that so much potential for comedy in a, in a giving birth episode. Remote Friends. How many episodes was there in Friends where one of them gave birth and it was always fucking hilarious? Like when Rachel and Ross had their baby. One, two, three. And she fucking knocked him out. Boy, dude, that was the best. <laughs> Please tell me it's gonna happen. Aeroplanes at Margate and got air rage. Demanded to see the stewardess. <laughs> I'm not in my right mind. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought, how about a couple of hours on the canvas? Oh, I've spent many a happy holiday in the new forest. So why don't you just go to the new forest? <laughs> Stroking a pony, waking each morning to a cheeky little thoroughbred nibbling my muslin flaps. How much is it again? Well, seeing as you're my neighbours, how about 500? <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. 500? You are paying to stay in your own back garden. Come on, Zeus. <laughs> Holiday time. Jesus. I feel like Mavis Nicholson in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. That was Jack Nicholson, wasn't it, Tom? Not at the... Sh That's like if, you know, in the summer, when, we, when it starts getting nice and we've done the garden, it's like... If I brought my grandparents down and they wanted to sit in the garden and have a cup of tea or whatever, say, uh, hold on, give us 50 quid. You, ca you can't go out there till you've paid me. <laughs> the Sheffield Crucible, Lindy. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> no! Stay where you are. Oh, Miss Twitch, don't you look lovely? You look like a pretty little princess. It's a little something I used to wear for the Boastal Balls. Oh, I used for the boast of bone. <laughs> I love a Cockney accent when it's done right. 
I love it when it's done right, and I love it when it's done by someone who isn't really cockney and will screw it up. But this one's a bit of mix, mix between the two. To love those ball stool balls, they used to get really sweaty. We used to call them the sweaty drum. Not going anywhere, are ya? Sadly, Miss Twitch, I have a prior engagement to do some writing at a potato-based eating establishment. <laughs> Meet my young man. That's not Sigh. what it sounded like you were going to do. Hi. How do you do? Sai? That's an unusual name, isn't it? Sai? It's like gasp. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the way Linda's mind works. So unique. Sigh. It's like gasp. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's short for Simon. Oh. <laughs> Cut glass diction. <laughs> so tell me, what did you do before you dropped like a young man slacks out of society? I was an actor. Oh, really? Tell I know who that is. The voice. I know that voice anywhere. The must. Yeah, he's got. Fit. I know who that is. Well, I think I do. Anyway. But it's obviously been kept a, like a secret who he is because if Tom really knew who that was, he'd be going mental by now. If he knew who that is. He's not reacting to who that is like like you like you'd imagine he would. But let's see where it goes. Tom's an actor. For all I know, this entire episode could just be a dream. You know, someone from a boss, a, the screw that she feels the most from a boss all days. That could be like Linda having a nightmare, and then Tom, Tom's biggest celebrity crush, just popping on his fucking doorstep. It could be a. A nightmare that Linda's having and a, t a, a dream that Tom's having and they've brought them both together for an episode, I don't know. But we'll see. Uh, you said you was a writer. You lying to me. Well, he's by job, you when he's a bit of both. By job, you! Yeah, it's a, it's a fiendishly tricksy business, isn't it, Si? You probably haven't had the luck or the talent that I've had. You know, I've done everything. Um, telly, <laughs> ads, theatre, sure. film. Pop videos. Pop videos. Yes. I was a wedding guest with Bell's Palsy in Tragedy by Steps. Do you remember me? Do you remember? Tragedy. He's played a lot of people with afflictions, haven't you, Thomas? Yes, I have. Yes. Actually, I had a reasonable amount of success. Listen, kid, I used to think street theatre was success. <laughs> Well, then you're a bit of a sad git, aren't you? Sai's been on the telly, and she's Sai. I know who you are, I know who you are! You're Wurzel Gummidge, aren't you? Uh, I can do him, I can do him. Look, Capitina played the cake on telly. <laughs> no, Tom, I'm not Wurzel Gummidge. Here, yeah. do you remember when I was on the telly, Miss Twitch? Yeah, when we thought you'd escaped. <laughs> but I hadn't, had I? The other girls had did me under the floorboards. <laughs> What, a lie? No, Tom, they wouldn't be that cruel. They chucked an air dryer in the bath, so they thought I was a goner. But I'm a fighter, ain't I, Miss Twitch? It's the saddest day of my career when I felt your pulse. <laughs> so, tell us about your little telly moment, then. Yeah. I was the lead in a medical romantic drama. Was it called... Called again, size. I mean, catchy. Piano practice? No. <laughs> Peak practice. I fucking knew it, it's Simon Shepherd. I knew it was. I recognise that voice anywhere. Even though he's not really an actor that I've watched, but because he's been in two episodes before this. And I did remember when I read the Wikipedia page during an, was it during an episode? There was a thing that says that he appears him and Jonathan Harvey appear in one episode in every series. So I was expecting him to pop up at some point in this series because it, because it says, you know, he, he was in one episode in every series. But yeah, it was in um, series one, it was the one with Sugar, where he thought, no, 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 sorry, it was the one where he played a granny basher. And he thought it was going to become really, win a BAFTA and it'd be presented by Sir Simon Shepherd. And then he's like, because <laughs> he's on the floor in the pub unconscious. And then in series two, it was oh no, it was a Millennium episode, and they were sat on a bench, and but he was dreaming. Well, he, well, actually no, both times Simon's a bit he dreamt it. 
So this is, this is like real. Oh, so this is like his dream coming true. Oh, I see what they've done there. But yeah. <laughs> Practice. Say peak practice. Mm -hmm. Well, don't be so ridiculous. The only Simon that was in peak practice was the wonderful, the, the inspirational, the phantasmagorical Sir Simon Shepherd. Can I use your bathroom? I need to spruce myself up a bit. Oh my god. Are you really Sir Simon Shepherd? I don't believe. I've always wanted to. Can I touch you? <laughs> the first time he meets him. Can I touch you? <laughs> Wait, was it? Can I touch you or can I touch your? Where was he going with that? <laughs> well, pick him up. I thought you were a bloody doctor. <laughs> Well, originally I left the series to pursue other things. I did a couple of episodes of a dreadful sitcom. The name of which escapes me. It was about a couple sharing a flat. She was sex mad, he was a disillusioned actor. <laughs> Bloody hell, I put some crap out these days, didn't I? <laughs> <Don't you? laughs> nice little inside joke, poking fun at themselves. Did a couple of episodes of a dreadful sitcom about a sex mad woman and a disillusioned actor. Nice one, yeah. I like it when they do that. Nice. <laughs> and then after that, work kind of dried up. One day I was signing on at a local dome when I met the lovely Miss Twitch. We fell in love, didn't we? And after that, it seemed churlish. Who eats a pot noodle with chopsticks? TV. And how did you end up a tramp, Miss Twitch? Get your clothes off now, Hughes, and give it them cold showers! It's last use now, last use! Darling, it's time for your medication. You really have to lie down. <gasps> so the fuck's going on with her? Cold out there, son. Years of abusing children's finally getting tears at you, slag. Can I lie in here, Simon? I've seen scum. Uh, fingers, we're talking. <laughs> we keep you awake, and there's all those people queuing for the campsite. <laughs> Wait a minute, they're not even sat at the table. Can I have a lie down in your bed, Linda? No. Yes, yes, you can. Take her out. Take you. Take her out now. Take her out. Take out this bitch. Go on. Go on my own with my ultimate crush, you bitch. <laughs> Go! Simon and I need to be alone to have a little chin wang. This is a brilliant episode. Chin wank. <laughs> Dress sense, Linda. Think like a slap, dress like a slap. <laughs> Bye. Oh. I never had a daughter. Wow. And I think it might be a bit late to start thinking of babies now. A bit? Maybe. Maybe you could call me mummy. Try it, Linda. I don't want to. <laughs> you never had a mummy, did you? Yeah, you met her. She wasn't your real mummy, old Dolly. Yes, she was. Yeah, she was just some old bird you wouldn't leave alone. I'm not saying she wasn't good to you, because she was. Her whole family was, treated you like one of their own. But your real mummy dumped you on them, because she couldn't stand the sight of you. <laughs> and that right? That's a lie. Oh, poor Linda, just sending a message to the group. Yep, just to, to let everybody know, 
Oh wait, this will be going on Patreon, won't it? So there's no point in me telling people to join the Patreon because you're already on it. But if this does like make it to like a public site like YouTube, Facebook, whatever, then please do consider joining the Patreon page because obviously you can't put reactions to series three of Gimme 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 on YouTube. It's copyright. Although I am going to attempt to upload this one, and if it doesn't work, then I won't try it again. But yeah, if you see this anywhere but Patreon, then please do join. You can join for just two pa two do two euros a month, which is like what one pound eighty five something, it's nothing, or one pound sixty five. It is something like that. Um, and you'll get access to everything that's on there. So you'll get ex uh, access to two exclusive series that I'm doing, which is uh, a Super Shorts Reaction Series, where I react to short movies, award-winning short films that have won Oscars and all sorts. Um, also, I'm going to be reacting to uh, all Extreme Cheapskates. That's a series that's now become a Patreon series. I tried to put it on YouTube, but it was copyright blocked immediately, so now it's a Patreon series. I'm also going to be doing a prize draw where everyone has to pick a random number, then I draw the number, and that person will win something. I don't know. It's not going to be much, but I'm going to try and make it a regular thing. Um, if I make it like £5, it's definitely something I can do every month. I know I can afford to do that every month. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, you'll get re uh, access to all my movie reactions. So it doesn't matter what tier you join, and then you're worrying about what you get access to in the future. Whatever tier you join, you get access to everything I've done up to that point that you join. So you've got access to everything no matter what. It's going forward that uh, things start to change. But you get access to everything that's on there up to now, and that's definitely worth it, whatever tier you join. Especially the two, three, and four dollar tiers. There's all sorts. There's three, four movie reactions and all sorts. All the still game reactions from series seven onwards that I couldn't put on YouTube. Yep, yeah, it's worth it. So join up. You're real, mummy. And also, the old point why I went into that is because we've now got a, a messenger group on Facebook with patrons. Not all of them, just a few. Not everybody wanted to join. Um, and yet you have the option to join that group. It's just like, it's just like a friend group. You know, we all we chat, we talk about our ideas. But you know, it it's a group literally for anything. So that's there for you as well. Was a witch. No. No. From the neck up, she had the head of a horse. You lied to me. Why are you lied to me? Sorry, Linda. I thought you knew. Didn't no one ever tell you? No! <laughs> That's brilliant. That's terrible CGI, though. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. You were always so gullible, you silly bitch. <laughs> Silly bitch. <laughs> Attention. Attention. <laughs> I don't know why, but what do you went? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. I mean camp as in sight, yeah. not as in get you bitch mother. <laughs> <laughs> not as in get you bitch mother. <laughs> the ladies' lavatories are blocked. I repeat, oh. the ladies' lavatories are blocked. Kindly ablut your doings in that mulberry bush uh, yonder. <laughs> Kindly ablut your doings in that mulberry bush, uh, Rayonda. <laughs> who the fuck do you think you are? And who do you think you're talking to? And in what year? <laughs> this is a brilliant episode. Dismiss. <laughs> Definitely the best start to a series episode so far, without a doubt. Ah. I'm not even that, but really. <laughs> I'm not.
and I have more than enough. Well, <sighs> glad I've got you on my own some lonesome because I believe we have a mutual friend in common. Really? Who's that? Cliff Higginbottom. We did a sandwich course together at the Rada. He was on chapatas, I was on bats. <laughs> oh, that. Is he rolling a spliff? Come on, Simon Shepherd. <laughs> Poisonous old queen. <laughs> Spread rumour after rumour about me being a raving poofter. Got to pity the rancid fruit. You got to pity even more the thick twats who believed him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you look sphincter clenchingly beautiful. <laughs> In the dusk of this eventide light. I said to him, I said, Clive, there's nobody that likes to drink from the fur cup more than I do. <laughs> I mean, I've got nothing against the old Nancy boys per se. Our business would fall apart without shirt flap lifters, quite frankly. <clears throat> God, your, your hair is so, so hairy, isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck is that that he's just rolled? Can you see that? Jesus Christ. I was able to roll six by the time I was like 14. I started smoking pretty. Oh no, maybe not 14 about it. Maybe about 15, 16. Just tobacco just lasted longer. It was just a logical choice. But that is terrible. Jesus. It's like a fucking Hoover bag or something. So oh. And your Stay eyes that. are like two azure paddling pools of love. There's no way that's gonna burn properly. You know, I'm, I'm getting a bit into this actually. <laughs> it's just because you know, and we've all we've all been there. We've all been teenagers where we experimented, and yeah, it's just I couldn't stand when someone couldn't roll a joint properly because it just ruined the experience and wasted most of the weed if it didn't burn properly. If you had to keep lighting it, you know. <laughs> Tom, can you keep a secret? I don't know. I apologise. It's illegal now. You know. There's no stigma to it. it. It cures cancer, so anyone that's against weed, quite frankly, you can feck off. It's curing people of cancer. Children, as well. So, yeah. My auntie that I've told you about, is, yeah, she's on CBD. She's trying it. If it works for her, that's another success story, isn't it? I mean, you won't tell fingers. Well, if you don't want anyone to hear it, yes. you're going to have to whisper it into my ear. <laughs> that's not quite close enough. I have rather a crooked cochlea. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to have to sit on your lap. Oh, really? In fact, you're going to have to put your hands around my waist. And, oh, no, no, I'm slipping. No, oh, oh no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, Master Shepherd, is that your crook I feel in the small of my back? <laughs> All I was going to say, Tom, is that I'm really itching to get back in front of the cameras. Looks like that's not the only thing you're itching to get something he's got he got into that he could have just sat back and got off him but no he he got on him <laughs> okay my god i got a brilliant idea you can be the lead in benders oh, it's this tv series i've been writing look oh, look right. here. here look you play simon and i'll play oh gosh what a coincidence tom tom all right let's uh plunge straight in with scene two shall we so you are in the shower naked, yes. and you're on the toilet. Yes, I am, right. <laughs> but uh, don't do call that smells acting, because I'm only tinkling, and I always sit down to tinkle, OK? <laughs> uh, say, Tom, do you want to join me? You look like you could do with a good soaping up. <laughs> OK, Sai, should I keep my trunks on or off? Oh, I think off, Tom, don't you? Whatever you say, Simon. Off go the trunks, then. Well, I'll just mine that for now. I actually sod it in for a penny and for a pound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look. It's a very strange stage direction. Isn't it? Yeah, it says that we kiss. Oh, really? <laughs> gosh, gosh, that's strange, isn't it? Must be a typing error or something. <laughs> look, um, should we just do it anyway? I'm game if you are, you know. No, look, look, I'm reading further on here. What? Is that physically possible with a bar of soap? <laughs> um, two words, Simon. Patience and practice. Right? <laughs> now, come on, um, are you going to kiss me or not? <laughs> You're a boy. I'm not kissing a boy. <laughs> That's where you've got it all wrong, Simon. I'm no boy. <laughs> I'm man. 
Oh, man. Steady, Tiger. Steady. Come on. Do you know, Tom, I think you've released something dormant in you. Then let's do it again! And this time, use your tongue. It's there for a reason, goddammit! Stop! Get him off, my man! Get off him, Tom! Get off him, guy! Get off him, guy! <laughs> He's basically just raped him. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> but... Jesus. Well, 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 Linda Hughes. Si, get out there and pack the tent up. We're leaving. Si, he ain't going anywhere, Miss Switch. Get afraid off him! I He's woken... not fucking gay! Jesus, I know it's a comedy, but for fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, I know it is It's a comedy. Did I say not a comedy or it is a comedy? Whatever I say, I know it's a comedy, but fuck's sake. No. <laughs> you can't portray this in any other light than terrible. He's just sitting there and being like, yeah, I'll let you stroke my hair after you just basically raped me. It's all right. No, it's fucking wrong. <laughs> Something hitherto a slumbering within him. <laughs> I think you'll find that he's jumped ship, sexuality-wise. <laughs> Go on, Sai. Tell her. With you at my side, she don't scare me no more. <laughs> Is this true, sir? You gone all puffy on me? Yes, it is true that Tom's awoken something in me, yes. Can you finish? Oh, no, 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 fingers, 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 fingers. fingers. It's, it's not my latent <laughs> homos... <laughs> How long did you get him shaking? <laughs> I fucking love this. Yes, it is true that Tom's awoken what? something in me, yes. What do you... Can Oh, no, 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 fingers, 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 fingers. It's, it's not my <laughs> latent homosexuality. <laughs> I want to be an actor again. I read the script. <gasps> you like it? No, it's dreadful. <laughs> but it's awoken in me my desire to act again. Peak practice have been banging on about me going back for ages. Twitchy, how do you fancy pitching the tent in the car park of a GP surgery in the Peak District? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sigh. No. <laughs> but I felt tongue. You used your tongue. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Simon. I love you, Simon Shepard. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Come on, Twitter. Phew. Series going. Oh, marvelously. I reworked the entire thing into a big musical. It's called Hey Big Bender. <laughs> hey Big Bender. Is that what that was? Hey Big Bender. Is that what it is? Hey Big Bender. It must be. <laughs> you fucking fruitcake. So, <clears throat> where have you been? Judging the glamorous granny competition. I wish I'd never bloody started that campsite. Really? Thanks for a lovely holiday, Lindy. <laughs> Who'd have thought it, eh? Me winning the competition for the prettiest pregnant person on the campsite. <laughs> and wasn't it funny, Linda, when you walked past and they asked if you were going to go in for it? <laughs> <laughs> Pregnant, you are, of course, vomit inducingly ugly. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, fucking oil painting yourself, love. Come on, lion, go on, piss off. Yeah, piss off. Cow. Well, 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 well. Funny old day, wasn't it? <laughs> I can think of many transient verbs to describe today, Linda. Painful, humiliating. Frightening, very, very frightening. Yep. But not by any stretch of the imagination was it funny. 
I respectfully disagree. <laughs> As you'll see during this video. <laughs> from my reaction. What? Just because Sir Simon Shepherd didn't fancy ya? Bollocks! <laughs> Bollocks! When we kissed, there was definite trouser movement. <laughs> yeah, from you! In your fucking trousers, there might have been. Linda, how much are you charging per tent? 500. <laughs> 500. <laughs> but, but there must be over a thousand tents out there. 3,971. God, do you know what this. You know how we do it over here at the Optiman Reacts? I calculate things like this. Three nine zero one times five and Fucking hell! One million nine hundred eighty-five thousand five hundred pounds. Fuck me! No wonder it's the last series. They're probably gonna go off fucking living Mayfair or something. <laughs> At the end, once they cash in. This <laughs> means. Do you know what this means? It means I'm rich. Rich! <laughs> rich! Oh shit! You're rich. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Not your business venture, mate. What are you going to do with the money? Spend it! But, if you do sex with me, <laughs> I'll give you half. <laughs> Is that her way of enticing him? Add it up. Is it worth it? 900 grand about. What position do you want then? Space opera! Come on. <laughs> oh, yes. oh yes, come. Oh yes, bitch. We're rich. Oh yes, we're rich. We're rich. Rich. No dear, I'm rich. If I may draw your attention to your tenancy agreement, oh, section yeah. five. It's her fucking heart. Oh. It's just like with Freddy. She called the police and got the 20 grand, and now she's going to cash in on this. Yep. And I bet there is some kind of rule in a tenancy agreement, like whatever she's about to claim, if someone did that, charge people for using their garden or part of their property for something, that the landlord has the right to claim the money from that. Makes sense. Shit! I've subsection 35A, and I quote... In the event of my back passageway being used as a campsite, all proceeds from said venture will go to Ms. Beryl Merritt. I was thinking just like what I just said, if you use my property for any bit, but no, it's that specific. In the event of my back passageway being used as a campsite, all proceeds shall go to Ms. Beryl Merritt. <laughs> of course she wrote that in the tenancy agreement before it was signed. Not before she walked in the fucking door just now. <laughs> oh well, you started now. It seems a shame to start. Yeah, true. Come on, come on. Bounce it, bitch. Bounce it. <laughs> start to a series without a doubt fantastic episode really 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 funny um 
Simon Shepard turned up and uh, Tom's uh, pants tightened very quickly. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> oh, wow. It was a good one. I really liked that. So, yeah, we've officially started the last series of Gimme Gimme Gimme, which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, all good things must come to an end. Um, <clears throat> I'm definitely noticing a few differences already. Um, Tom looks very different to how he did in Series 2. Seems to have put on a bit of weight in his face, you know, he's a bit... His face is a bit more filled in more. Um, Linda looks different as well. It looks like that she's filled out a bit more as well. I don't mean it in a rude way. They just, you know, Tommy he looked very, young, very, very young and skinny in series one and two. Now he looks more like a thirty-year-old. But how old was he at this point? I can't remember. I, I don't know how old he was. This was 2001, 1968, 7, 8, 9, 8. So 33. Oh, all right. 33 years old. Yeah, he looks about 33 then, I suppose. Yeah. And she was 30. 37. Okay. So, yeah, we've officially begun Series 3 with a very, very good episode. Without a doubt, the best start to a series of Gimme, Gimme, Gimme up to this point. I have to... And that, that is absolutely true. Um, <clears throat> absolutely hilarious. Some great jokes. Yank on my dictaphone. <laughs> um... I just really enjoyed it, yeah, and I can't wait for the next episode now, it's just, it's like, it's one of those shows, it's exactly like Still Game, I just can't wait to see the next one, see what's going to happen next, but, yep, that's it, that's the first episode done of Series 3, so, thanks everybody for watching, if you're watching this on Patreon, then, uh, yep, thank you if you continue to support, um, if you're watching this on any other platform, if it makes it, then please do whatever you do to support me on that platform so if it ends up on youtube then subscribe like comment uh on if it ends up on facebook then just like follow the page um share the video you know recommend people to watch it tag whatever uh i can't think of any other site that this could go on really discord i've started a discord account but i haven't touched it since i don't think i'm gonna bother with it but yeah, that, that'll do, I suppose. Just whatever platform you see this on, do whatever you can to support me there. So on Patreon, yeah, like, comment, and it gets it more impressions on the site and people might join. Facebook, like, share, comment, all that stuff. YouTube, subscribe, share, uh, subscribe, like, comment. Yep. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. Feel free to share, the, share your plans for the weekend in the comments below. I'm interested to hear what you're all up to. Um... And, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, whatever it may be, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thanks again. Much love to all of you. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Goodbye for now. Yorkshire for now. Bye.